Today we're going to be taking another look at the KuCam 3 Ultra, which is a contender for the best 360 camera of this year. Certainly it has the hardware specs to rival the Insta360 X4. This camera features the largest sensors of any consumer 360 camera. It can shoot 8K 360 video and it can shoot 10-bit video. And the reason we're looking at it again is because there's been some pretty big updates since the camera was released. I did a review earlier this year and in terms of hardware and video quality I found it to be really really good but there was particularly an issue with some highlights it seemed to blow out the highlights a lot in its videos and the software was a little bit limited but Kanda has released some new firmware some new updates to their software and now we're taking another look and especially going out and shooting at night now that it's dark all the time in the northern hemisphere I tested out whether the KuCam 3 Ultra can shine in these kinds of difficult conditions which traditionally 360 cameras have really struggled in and I should highlight that right now the KuCam 3 Ultra is discounted due to the Black Friday sales which is lasting at least a couple of weeks so check out the link in the description this is this is the cheapest the camera has been since it's been released so if you are interested now is a good time to check it out you'll save $50 compared to the normal price and I think roughly the same in pounds and euros so so let's check out this new updates for the KuCam 3 Ultra firstly in terms of video quality I, I do really want to highlight that this camera probably shoots the best quality 360 video of any consumer 360 camera ever the combination of 8k the large sensor size and 10 bit video is just three killer features and now that there has been a firmware update which allows us to more directly control the highlights the issue of overblowing the highlights which was an issue when I first reviewed this camera has been decreased significantly it's not as much of an issue anymore and certainly when I tested it out at nighttime around all these kind of Christmas lights it certainly I think it performed really well but still you do have to go in and use the manual mode to set up the camera properly if you want to get great quality light low light nighttime footage you can see the settings are used here for my shots but the slightly larger sensor size can compared to other 360 cameras gives it a little bit of an edge in these scenarios. Now the downside of the KuCam 3 Ultra is probably its size and its weight. It's a little bit hefty, it's a little bit heavy. Uh, you can still use it attached to a bike or something like that, but I wouldn't be doing any crazy action stunts with it. It is waterproof up to 10 meters. I've not taken it underwater and I probably won't do that, but it is waterproof and it has amazing stabilization like all 360 cameras. So you can move around with this camera a lot and, it's, and the video is gonna be super stable the whole time. When I first reviewed this camera, probably the biggest issue I had with it wasn't to do with the hardware at all. It was more the software, which was kind of limited, especially compared to some of the other cameras out there. The KuCam Studio, which is their desktop based editor, Editor. You can create projects, which means you can open and save and reuse projects. You can make different videos from the same clip. So in terms of organization, that is a lot better than it was before. There are more exporting options. Overall, there are just slightly more options than there were before. So the desktop software is definitely going in the right direction. And it, and it's fairly easy to learn after you've used it a few times. And the app has also had some new features, including an AI tracking feature, which is something that is really useful if you want to track yourself, you want to track a specific object. This is what 360 cameras are meant for. They're capturing the whole area at once. So tracking is a really cool feature of all 360 cameras. You also have more automatic editors, more creative options. You can export your 10-bit video into 8-bit, which wasn't possible before. And they've added some enhancements, for example, stitching enhancement if the stitching isn't quite right, chromatic aberration reduction, and shadow enhancement, which overall improves the quality of your shots. I've used this camera primarily for shooting virtual tours, for shooting 360 immersive video. I think it is perfect for that. Definitely the best camera out there for that, but you can definitely use it as a travel vlogging camera. Overall, it's still pretty compact compared to say a DSLR, and you can get some really unique shots at a pretty high quality compared to other 360 cameras. If the KuCam Ultra was a little bit too expensive for you, then why not check out its younger brother, the KuCam 3. This is actually now only $280 in this sale, and I think that makes it the best value 360 camera out right now. It can't shoot 8K video, it can't shoot 10-bit video, and the sensor sizes are slightly smaller, but overall, it's a really good compact 360 camera. 
The video quality is still pretty good, especially if you're shooting for a mobile device, if you're shooting for TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, using this camera is still gonna look good on those smaller screens. And it still works pretty well in low light as well. Kandao use their own lens and sensor technology, so you're getting kind of bespoke technology here, which means it may be slightly ahead of competitors even though they use the same resolution. So yeah guys, that is the KuCam 3 Ultra, just a bit of an update and obviously checking out that sale that they have on now, it makes it a pretty good deal I guess. KuCam 3 guys, if you have any questions about this camera, feel free to ask and I'll get back to you in the comments. But until next time, I'll see you around. Bye.